hi guys um today is going to be a video that i have actually done a couple of times okay i think it was two years ago when i first started making the videos on this subject matter and the subject matter today is women that photoshop or filter their dark-skinned children to make them look light-skinned okay so i made a video like that about two years ago and uh, somebody sent me a text message okay and then i made another little um voiceless clip back um maybe about a year ago about serena williams okay now the reason why this irritates me so terribly is because i really just don't like um dishonesty i really don't i don't like it when somebody is trying to fool me I don't like it when somebody is trying to trick me okay why because i am the annoyed atheist i'm an atheist for a reason okay just a little bit about an atheist mind i'm an atheist because i found out that the bible book was fake and it was a trick okay and it's a it's a very elaborate trick now i don't like being fooled or tricked because honestly um the reason why I am an atheist is because I've been fooled and tricked to believe in invisible men that floated in clouds. Okay, I no longer think that way. And what I do is when somebody is being deceptive or they're trying to trick me, then I get very angry. Because if I come across your picture and it's a fake picture, then you better believe I'm going to be mad. Because I don't like being tricked. I don't like people trying to deceive me. I don't like people trying to um, to to fool me in any shape, form, or fashion. I mean, you could be the person down the street. You could be the person across the street. You could be a family member. I don't like anybody trying to trick me, okay? So, that being said, the reason why I'm making this video is because it seems like the media don't want to... to um, to say anything to this person i'll see other people getting blasted i mean blasted the fuck down blasted the house down when they photoshop and they'll put in the newspaper photoshop fail of so and so and so and so and i'll i don't want to say their names yet because i want to talk about their photoshop fails but it'll be so and so and so and so photoshop fail photoshop fail this photoshop fail that and they'll they'll blast the fuck this person down i mean blast the fuck that person down for a Photoshop failing either themselves or their children. Okay, so for whatever reason, this Serena Williams has never been blasted the house down. She has never been blasted the fuck down. She's never been, and I have seen so many people get blasted the fuck down, but not this bitch. So if, they, if, if they're not gonna do it, then guess who's gonna do it? Me, because I, I don't like the trickery and the fuckery and the deception. And also it's me, <laughs> look okay i consider myself a darker skinned person and let me tell you something if anybody in my family would have went and photoshopped my pictures when i was a child to make me light skinned and i grew up i would have been very pissed because why did they feel like they would need to photoshop me so i would have been angry okay so for me what i'm saying is this woman is photoshopping the, the fuck out of these kids out of her child i'm sorry not she don't have kids she got one child and some ugly ass doll that doll is ugly 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 that she got i'm talking about a doll it's an ugly ass doll that's always dancing the fucking thing is extremely ugly ain't nothing cute about that ugly ass doll quay quay i'll do a whole video on the quay quay doll that fucking doll is ugly it needs to be thrown in the fucking trash and get a new doll like a Bratz or a Barbie. Okay, they got cute dolls. They got Bratz dolls that are cute. They got Barbie dolls that are cute. But that Quay Quay is an ugly ass doll. It's not funny. It's just ugly. It's just an ugly ass doll. So anyway, upgrade your doll. <laughs> upgrade your doll to something cute. But anyway, I digress. Um, let me go into the details. Okay, so what? Okay, um, let me tell you something. Okay, I don't like the fact that she don't it doesn't appear like she loves her daughter it doesn't appear that she loves the look of her daughter and it doesn't appear that she's proud of her creation okay she created that daughter 
and it doesn't look like she's proud of this child at all okay because every time you see the child the pictures almost all the time the pictures are photoshopped the pictures are always altering the skin color the hair color of this child that she has that screams to me that she does not love her child the way the child was born okay if you feel like you have to photoshop your child to look completely different then that means that you don't love the way your child actually looked i mean that she could say oh she loves her child well then bitch why don't you show the real look of your child why don't you show the real look of your goddamn child if you love your child right if you love your child then you would show the real look if you feel embarrassed of your child then you would photoshop the house down okay you would photoshop the fuck out of that child which she does that child is dark skinned okay that child skin and this is not to be considered derogatory i'm not trying to be derogatory so because some people are so sensitive that if you say the word black they're going to be like super sensitive and i know sometimes you do have to be sensitive to that if somebody trying to be mean or hurtful but i'm not trying to be mean or hurtful when i use this term but we got skin colors okay the baby's real skin tone looks like it's not in the brown category. It looks like the baby's skin tone is in the black category. Like the picture when she was at the aquarium, her little hands looked not dark brown. Her little hands looked like they were literally black. This is not to be derogatory. This is not to be mean to a child because I'm not trying that. But her skin tone at that aquarium looked like her skin tone was li literally black. And then, you know, then you see a picture the next day and the skin tone is whiter than the, 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 so the, the father. You can't go from black to white. You cannot do that unless somebody done filtered your, your picture or photoshopped your picture. You cannot go from one extreme to the next. So whatever happened at that aquarium for your skin to look black, then that is probably your real skin tone because light or white skin never looks black on camera. It will never look black. No white person has will ever be filmed nowhere and their skin looks black. Okay. No light skin person will ever be filmed with their skin looking black at any time. So if you ever see a picture of somebody and their skin looks black, that is their real skin tone because people she'd be trying to photoshop the baby to be lighter than the white man that she's married to first of all girl if you if that baby was that color she would never have a, a black skin picture turn up nowhere okay now let me tell you something okay it was a picture taken of the little girl she was um she was holding the balloons with a blue dress on okay now i'm an amateur photographer I've been loving cameras since I was about 14 years old. I'm going to reveal my age just a little bit, but I don't really tell nobody my age. But I was around when we had film, okay? Back in the old days, if you were born in the 90s, you would never know about a, a Kodak Slim Pick. It was a, a slim camera, and you had to use film. And you had to go to the drugstore back in those old days, and you had to develop film at drugstores and stuff. Or you could send them off to some company and they would send them back to you. This is old school. Then they came out with the Kodak disc. Then, uh, th of course, I also had a Polaroid. So, and then they came out with digital cameras. Okay, so I come from, from a lot of knowledge of playing with cameras since I was 14 years old. Okay. Now, the thing about cameras is that you have to have a certain type of lighting because honestly different type of lights can make you look different colors they can it can make you look different colors based on different type of light i could even show you like me just roaming through my home and i could change colors all throughout the video based on different type of lighting situations that's going on in my household so i know when you ch when you got different types of lights if you are a person of color, you will change. From, I can go from, like, in my pictures, I can go from, like, a caramel color to a pale white color 
just using a camera just with different lights but that's because my skin tone is not that dark now if my skin was really really dark then it would it would always be dark it would go from dark to darker based on but if your skin is like lighter like a light brown or golden brown your skin can literally go from brown to gold to to white looking based on the lights if you got real bright bright lights and your skin is brown you can actually look pale white and you're not doing it it ain't no filter it ain't no photoshop it's just the lights okay seriously it can change if you don't understand how cameras work that can change now the point that i'm talking about the the little video of the little girl the baby's name is olympia alexis or some shit like that okay so the baby was outside with some balloons now let me tell you something for people that don't understand cameras or photography okay when you are outside and you are under the sunlight photographers call that natural light okay now when you want to know somebody's real skin tone the best way you can look at somebody's real skin tone is when they are actually in natural light which is just sunlight now if you get a picture of somebody and they are in natural light sunlight then and you want to know if that's their real skin tone that's the best way to do it natural light will give you the the true look of somebody's skin usually natural light would if you got artificial lights that can change somebody's skin color okay not if they might not even be doing it on purpose they just got certain type of light conditions but the point is that i'm making about the little girl outside the that picture is most likely the truest picture that they got of her because she's under natural light conditions so the color of her skin was very very dark on her face i looked at the picture examined it by me being an amateur photographer i'm very into looking at stuff like that because i actually learn about lighting conditions and skin tone colors based on certain light conditions when pictures are taken okay so i looked at the picture carefully i examined it to see if it was altered or edited or photoshopped or filtered which i'm very good and i'm very keen to be able to tell when somebody is up to some fuckery with some pictures so anyway so i looked at the picture examined it the skin color on her face was dark brown and don't don't get into your feelings and think that i'm trying to to throw shade at this child because i'm not okay i don't know this child <clears throat> i don't got no loyalty to the child i also don't have no hatred to the child but i'm going to keep it real about skin color okay so if you get offended if you're easily offended offended about skin color just click the x and go on about your business because i ain't got time to try to sugarcoat nothing on this video and i'm not okay so anyway so the color of the skin the skin of the baby at in the natural light was that the baby's skin color on her face was dark brown the skin color on her arms was very dark brown her hands looked like they were almost pitch black so that tells me that that is her real skin color because if you had light skin under natural light you would look very very light and if your skin was white pale like she wants people to believe her skin would never look black under natural light it would be impossible it's impossible for your skin to look black if you got white skin or light skin you would never look black in natural light so that told me exactly where she's at in skin color she is dark skin black okay that's what color she is okay so um what i'm trying to tell you is um <clears throat> she is dark skin so why the fuck does the serena williams jackass keep on making these fake ass photos girl would you stop would you stop trying to bullshit the public and show people those fake ass pictures why don't you just learn to love your goddamn daughter for the way she is you don't have no motherfucking love for your your daughter you don't you don't have no motherfucking love for your daughter if you sitting there filming a fake ass photo with a filter to make her look like when she's she's dark you ain't got no business doing that because i'm not fooled bitch and you need to you need to respect your your daughter's actual looks instead of fake photoshopping some fantasy baby that don't even exist except for in your goddamn imagination you didn't give birth to a light-skinned child you gave birth to a dark-skinned baby girl 
with nappy hair and it's black hair and it ain't light brown and it ain't blonde and it ain't gold sometimes you let's get on the hair tech on the hair this bitch be photoshopping some fake ass hair color on her on her daughter's hair the fake ass hair color be like a light reddish brown bitch you don't have light hair and neither does her dad her dad i saw a picture of him as a child and he had black hair so you by the both parents having black hair ain't no way in the hell serena williams look 100 percent african and that man got dark hair and dark eyes you cannot take two dark people a dark white person and a dark black person and produce somebody with blonde hair that ain't gonna ever happen because Serena Williams too black, too nappy head to produce somebody with hair that, that color. You lying. And also the dad don't have no blonde hair or blue eyes, so it ain't possible. Both parents got dark hair, dark eyes. You can't have no blonde hair baby when you both got dark hair and, and dark eyes, baby. It takes two to tango. You, you can't do that. So let me tell you something. Okay, how do I know? Okay, my real hair underneath this wig when I was younger, my hair would actually turn like a orange. Okay. And I would go get Bijan black um, hair color, the natural hair color. And I would always make my hair um, black because my hair would bleach in the sun. But it would be like a um, like a ugly copper kind of burnt orange kind of color. And it was just not flattering. So I would go and I would... Um, I would dye my hair black all the time. This is like when I was in my 20s all the way up to like my um, 30s. I was always dyeing my hair black because my hair honestly would, um, when I was wearing my, my natural hair, it would get light. Okay, so I, I can be a sunshine blonde. And also, let me tell you, my daughter was blonde. She was born with blonde hair and blue eyes. Okay, when she got older, her hair was changing and she had like a burgundy Type hair and i never seen nobody in my life even though you might say pictures and you said well her hair looked black at some point my daughter never had black hair she never did it might have looked black when you put like um product in it when you got lighter hair and you put product in it it can make your hair look dark okay so what happened was i had i'd have been knowing this for a long time so i had my hair my daughter's hair was kind of like a burgundy so i wanted i knew that that type of hair can be a sunshine blonde hair so what i did was i took a little bit of lemon juice and i took some um olive oil and i put it on her hair and then she started going out to play and her hair turned really really bright blondish orange okay and then i stopped doing it and i just started putting oil on her hair and believe it or not the oil actually made her hair sunshine blonde too so i haven't done it in a year and at the end is like blonde okay and it's like sometimes you see a blonde sometimes you see a dark but the, when you see a dark it's because it got product in it and it's wet and that's why it looks dark but it's really not dark she is a sunshine blonde okay so her hair can go light sometimes sometimes it can get darker yeah but if i put some oil in it like the avocado oil almond oil i don't put coconut oil but if I put certain types of oils in it, it'll brighten back up. And then over time, it'll darken back up. But it does that. Okay, so I know real hair colors. Okay, I know real hair colors is what I'm saying. Okay, and somebody with hair like that, that she ain't no sunshine blonde. I guess she's trying to make it look like she a sunshine blonde. She ain't no sunshine blonde. Trust me, I can tell. That ain't no sunshine blonde. That's not even the hair texture that would be considered sunshine blonde because that hair texture is not sunshine blonde. The only time you can get be a sunshine blonde is if you got, and my daughter's hair is mostly Caucasian. It can be straight, and then it, it, when I put product on it, it gets straight. And then after the next day, it'll kind of curl back up. But it ain't, it ain't Negroid. It's Caucasian, mostly Caucasian. Okay, so anyway... Let me tell you something. I know about hair color. I mean hair color, and now I'm about to get into hair care. Okay. What I've been noticing about this child, it seems like Serena Williams is disappointed in the looks of that child because it seems like she don't even really want to touch her hair. 
Now, if you are worth $150 million that she claims that she, she's worth, why don't she pay somebody to, to do her daughter's hair? And this ain't no shade. And one day I'm going to go into even more details. Why don't she pay somebody to do her daughter's hair? Why? Why does her daughter have like those three braids going around, then a tiny little puff ball at the top, and the hair looks extreme? And I'm not trying to be derogatory. This is just because her I'm I'm talking to the adult at this point. I'm not I'm not bad mouthing no child. I'm actually hoping that the child will get the the care and the upkeep that she deserves. Okay, if your mom is supposed to be worth 150 million dollars, you ain't got no business having no nappy head that's uncombed and unkept. Okay, so anyway, so and I'm going to go into another detail just on hair care. Okay, but I'm going to say something real quick. Okay, so anyway, so the dad is white i guess and the man was he had joined some facebook groups saying that he needed some help to try to figure out how to do his daughter's hair so this is some advice he went to a facebook group to some black women and joined up trying to hope that they can help him with his daughter's nappy head okay so let me give you some tips okay i don't i don't my, first of all my hair is not the texture of that child i can i got pictures of my my hair my hair is like a wavy um, kind of um, wavy kink, but you put conditioner or oil in it, it just waves. Okay, so if it's nappy looking, it's because it don't got no moisture in it. So anyway, so let me tell you something. Okay, so the baby's hair. Okay, I saw this picture and it was Serena and the baby at some type of award ceremony. And I'm going to make a whole video about this picture. <laughs> It deserves a whole video on that picture, okay? So anyway, so the baby, she holding the baby and accepting some trophy. Is this this video, this picture is worth a thousand words. And believe me, you're going to get it, okay? But it needs to be its own video. That's how seriously bad this picture is. Okay, so anyway, so I'm going to talk about the hair care on this one and then probably touch on it again on the next one. Okay, so the baby had three braids going across the top of her head and then she had a little kinky nappy ponytail at the top of her head now i'm thinking to myself because i didn't i didn't been around black folk and a lot of times when black women are lazy they'll braid their daughter's hair just because they don't want to touch it on a daily basis so you could look at those braids and you could tell that serena williams did not comb that child's hair the day of that award ceremony those braids were old. It looked like the baby had the braids in her hair for at least a week or two weeks or more. Okay. You could tell that the baby's hair was not combed. And why did she appear like that at an award ceremony? Okay. You could tell that she didn't touch that child's hair for days. Okay. I was looking to see if it was lint balls and, and dandruff in, in the baby's head. Because I know I used to see... Kids go into school. When I used to go to school, when, as elementary school, it would be nappy head kids, and they would have limp balls all in their heads. And they had BBs and bug shots. That's what they. And she was a BB bug shot limp ball looking head baby that day. Okay, and this is not to diss the baby. This is just to keep it real. Okay, so because I when I used to go to school, kids that used to have bug shots and BBs and limp balls, they used to get they used to get their ass beat. They used to get talked about, laughed at, and you know, I wasn't the richest kid, but I didn't have no limb balls or BBs and buckshots. So I didn't get no beat down because of being nappy head. Okay, so anyway, I'm looking and I'm like, why didn't she comb the baby's hair at the award ceremony? Bitch, you were supposed to be accepting an award. Your child should have had her hair combed. The child didn't even have her hair combed. I'm telling you the truth. She did not have her hair combed at all. And it looked like she hadn't had her hair combed for at least a week to two weeks. Okay? So you cannot be saying that you have $150 million and you can't even do your daughter's hair. What's up with that? Okay, so let me tell you something. Here's what you should do for your daughter's hair. Mr. Alexis, whatever the fuck your name is. If you trying to reach out to strangers to get some advice, I'll give you some fucking advice. Okay. What you need to do with your daughter. If your bitch, wife, Serena ain't going to do it, then you need to do it. 
okay, so you act like you're so concerned about your baby's hair, going to Facebook and talking to strangers, trying to join natural hair groups or whatever. So, Mr. Alexis, what's up? Okay, you want to take care of your baby's hair? Here we go. Okay, what you need to do is get rid of those motherfucking dirty-ass braids because I know when somebody put braids in somebody's hair, they don't want to comb somebody's hair when they put braids. It's a lazy person's way out of avoiding combing some nappy-ass hair that they can't deal with. So, do not put braids in your baby's hair no more. What you need to do, because your baby's hair is extremely, extremely dry looking, and when you got hair that looks that incredibly dry, then you need to moisturize that hair daily. And if you got braids all in the hair, you cannot have access to the hair like you need to. So, let me tell you how to do it. Okay, get you some Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo. Wash the baby's hair once a week. Don't wash the baby's hair daily because you're going to fuck the baby's hair up worse because the baby's hair is going to dry out more terrible. And also, she's missing a lot of hair around the side of her head. She missing her, her hairline is not growing in maybe because it's so dry. It might not have the ability to grow in when your hairline is more delicate. So her hairline starts all the way back here by her ears and it goes all the way back there and the back is all missing and shit. So I'm thinking that the reason why her hair not, line is not growing is because her hair, her her scalp is not getting the moisture that it needs to grow in properly. So what you do, get the baby sh Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo, wash it once a week, get you some um, Pantene hair conditioner or some Dove hair conditioner or some herbal ex essence. What you need to do is put the, the conditioner on the baby's hair and um, don't wash it out. Do not wash it out. Take you a brush that looks like this. This is called a wave brush. You see all the hair that's in it? This is my daughter's hair and my hair. This is a, a wave brush. You can get this from um, Dollar Tree or any beauty supply store. And you see how the bristles are? This is the wave brush. This brush is what will... It, it looks like it's hard and bristly, but this is the brush you need. Don't use a brush like... Don't use a brush like this. This is what I use to comb, to brush my wigs. This is not for your child's hair. That's more or less like for white folk or, you know, wigs or something. Okay, so what you need to do after you put that conditioner in, don't wash it out. And then what you need to do, you need to get some olive oil or some avocado oil or some coconut oil and you need to Take that, that wave brush and brush your daughter's hair. Keep brushing and brush and brush and keep brushing for about five minutes. Just brushing all that product through her hair. Then just take a ponytail holder, put it up into one ponytail or two ponytails and make sure you take the oil and oil all her missing edges. I know her. you might see, well, the hair starts back here. Okay, so you just put the oil there. No, put it all like right there where her edges should be. And moisturizing her scalp should help all those missing edges to grow in. And also you need to start training her hair. Now, what I mean by training her hair, you can train somebody's hair and it can start being a little bit more moist. And some people don't like heat. Now, Sometimes you need a little bit of heat to push moisture in somebody's hair if your hair is very dry. Like when my hair has moments of extreme dryness, I will use, I used to use a, bowl, a blow dryer and I would gently just blow the oil and the conditioner into the hair. The heat will open up the hair shaft and when it will force that oil and conditioner into the hair shaft and it'll seal. And then after you take the heat off, it, the, the hair shaft will close back up and it'll seal that moisture inside of your hair. Okay, so that, she she is in serious need of extreme top level moisture. Okay, she is lacking moisture and it's obvious. So if you want to um, help your daughter, go ahead and try to moisturize her hair. And believe me, it's gonna start looking much better. Okay, and stop photoshopping the color. I know the color is fake, she got black hair. And, oh, okay, so let me get into the last part of the video. So what made me mad is that one day I had went to um, the their little page. 
and it was the husband's page okay so he had posted a picture of himself as a child right okay so i'm talking fast because this is 30 minutes and i need to hurry up because it might cut off on me i don't know how much space i got on this comp on this phone so anyway so i went there and he was he had to post a picture of himself when he was a little boy so all these people talking about oh olympia look like so much like you oh olympia look just like her dad first of all bitch stop lying whoever you are you are telling a goddamn lie let's go from the top okay first of all the baby don't look like that white man because first of all the baby's hair is a hundred percent african she got a hundred percent african hair that looks a hundred percent like her mom's hair she don't have no caucasian hair she don't got no waves she don't got no curls she got pure nappy kinky african hair don't lie okay do not lie do not tell lies on no motherfucking instagram because i'm gonna call your ass out okay that baby do not have no resemblance to that man second of all the skin color the baby is dark skin even though they filter and photoshop the fuck out those pictures the baby's skin look like her mom so her hair looks like her mom's the skin color looks like her mom's okay the eyes okay she got the tiny almond eyes that man got straight across black eyes the baby got the almond eyes like the black mom okay baby got flared nose the baby's nose goes flared like the mom the baby's mouth only thing that looks resemblance to that white man that's the only thing that resembles that white man the baby mouth got a white the baby got the dad's mouth and a yeah it's more of the dad's mouth the baby look more black than white so somebody is on a mad dash to try to convince the public that the baby look like that white man no bitch no no bitch the baby don't look like that white man the baby look like the black woman that gave birth to that baby the baby looks like the black woman that gave birth to the baby you lying you talking about oh that baby looked just like her dad she's they're twinning no they're not no they're not they're not that baby got two different dna's black and white the baby got black looks the baby don't have no white look stop lying what you lying for okay why are you lying? What's up with that? What's up with the lies? I got two eyes. I can see, bitch. The baby look African, black, Negroid, nappy hair, dark skin. What the fuck you lying for, bitch? What the fuck you lying for? Why are you lying? You ain't telling nobody no truth with that. I got the, I, bitch, I can see it for myself. You are a motherfucking lie talking about. That man, that the baby look like that white man. No, 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 she don't. When when they make a fake ass picture, they're trying to make you think that the baby look like that white man. That baby don't look like that white man, bitch. You lying? You are lying. I'm trying to figure out why you lying. If the baby looked like the dad, I would say it. But I'm not stupid. I'm not falling for this fucking trick that you're trying to pull. I asked them, I, I was arguing with these people, and they were like, oh, yeah, she looked just like her dad. No, she don't wear a bitch on a fake-ass filtered Photoshop motherfucking picture. What's up? Why you lying? Why you lying? Why you lying like that? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You lying. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to show the, the little clips at the end. And also, I wrote a blog. If you want to go see the pictures, click on those motherfuckers. And do not dare say that I don't know what I'm talking about. Bitch, I can see. I got good vision. 2020 vision, bitch. Ain't nobody going to fool me with no dumb shit like that. They might fool you, but bitch, they ain't fooling me. I'm not the one falling for this dumb ass trick that they're pulling. I'm not the one falling for it. Bitch, I saw the baby in natural light. And that, that picture that I show you in the little clips, that's the baby in natural light. If somebody tell you that that's not the real color, they're a motherfucking lie. Because natural light does not lie to no motherfucking cameras. What can lie is artificial lights. They can tell lies to cameras, but natural light, the sun, you, ain't, you can't lie. You can't lie, bitch. So anyway, uh, let me see. I think that's all for now. So, live fiercely, love viciously, and remember, atheism.